Hey there everybody, Donald Surratt here with another video about LVUI. I really like this UI and I uh, wanted to help out with something here. Now there is a feature that is not standard in LVUI. You have to do a little bit of coding to put it in but a lot of people uh, like it and want to use it but it seems that there's a few people who are having uh, a little bit of trouble getting it to work. So I figured instead of just uh, doing a bunch of pictures and writing up about it, I would do a video to show you how to do it. Because if a picture's worth a thousand words, then thousands of pictures together must be worth millions of words. So let me first show you this feature. It's really simple. It just shows and hides SCADA and the right chat window, either when you click the arrow or when you enter combat. So first what you're going to do is there is a code that was written up by Elv himself that uh, you're going to want to get and I'll put a link to the uh, the Tukui forums or the Tukui. I'm never sure exactly how it's supposed to be pronounced, but I'll do a link to the forums so that you can just copy paste it. And what I like to do is just keep it in a text file. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a specific line in the code of the layout Lua. And to find that, you're going to want to go to C, Users, Public Games, World of Warcraft. That's where my install went to for Windows 7. Yours might be in the program files. But you're going to go to World of Warcraft, Interface, Add-ons, LVI, and Layout. Inside of the Layout folder, you'll find the Layout Lua. It's not really that hard. You're going to want to go down in the Lua to about line 607, I believe it is. I'll have a screenshot up on this video that'll show the exact location. And you're going to want to find that in uh, Notepad++, which I'll also do a link to. You'll want to do that in Notepad++ to find that location. And what I have highlighted here is what you want to replace with the new code. And when you're done, it's going to look exactly like this. Once you're done doing that, you're going to need to do a little bit of work in game. And this is simply to position the SCADA window where you want it, and also to set the, uh, the chat frame to pop out. But first, let's uh, Go ahead and hide that right chat frame and start moving around our SCADA frames. Now the way I have it set up here is I have a, a DPS frame on the right with two smaller frames on the left, one for threat and one for CC breakers. To set that up, you're just going to want to go into the SCADA configuration settings and just make the windows for each one. And this is just to kind of give you an idea of how I have my bars set up. So let's actually go to the DPS one first, because that's going to show you the, uh, the bar height and the window height, the bar font size and that stuff. And this is the main setting for all of this if you want to get the, the exact height of what you're going to want your SCADA frames to be like. And with it set up like this, I have eight bars that show up on my DPS frame, which is really more than enough to watch, if, especially if you're just doing 10-man raids. I also have the, uh, the CC bar set up and the, uh, the threat bar, and they're set up slightly different just for sizing to get it to work right. Just get it, uh, get it all nice. I'll hide that. Get it all nice and exactly how you want it for that right there. Now to set up, set it up so that the chat actually pops out when you enter combat. You're going to want to go to slash 
Elv UI. This will bring up the Elv UI configuration panel. And you're just going to want to go down to chat. And you see this slide chat frame out during combat? You want to set that to the right hand frame. Once you do that, you'll just apply your changes and you are all set to go. Then whenever you click the arrow, it'll switch them in and out. And whenever you enter combat, it'll switch them in and out. So it's just a, a really nice little bit of versatility that uh, that LVI has. And I'm sure with a little bit of editing, it would also work with the regular Took UI. Uh, that's all I have. If you want to see a text-based version of this, I will also be typing it out for a post on the uh, Took UI forums. And so that then, if there was something that you couldn't see very clearly in this video, it'll be taken care of in that forum post too. So you've got two ways to check and see and learn about how it's done, a fully visual way and a textual way. Uh, that's all I have to share guys, so this is Don out.